This is an amazing discovery. New research shows that vertical solar panels are seven times more efficient than horizontal ones. How is this even possible? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name's Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. On this channel, we have made more than two and a half thousand videos since we started back in June of last year. And I was really inspired to make this channel because I strongly believe that these kinds of new renewable energy discoveries are what are making the world a much better place. And what are the reason for us eventually overcoming the climate crisis and being able to leave the world in a better place than what we found it. I'm convinced that that's happening due to these kinds of discoveries. Researchers in Germany say that vertical solar panels are better than horizontal solar panels by a factor of seven to one. It's hard to believe, but they talk about why this is. Usually solar panels are mounted horizontally and oriented toward the sun to get maximum exposure to the sun as it travels across the sky. Instead of lying flat, they are angled at between 20 and 35 degrees, depending on how far from the equator they're located. There are complex mathematical formulas that tell solar farm developers the precise angle the panels should be mounted at in different locations. There are tracking systems that can move the panels during the day to follow the sun, but they are expensive and they need regular maintenance. So it's better to actually install them at the right angle in the first place. But what if this conventional understanding of the way that solar panels should be angled is actually wrong? Researchers at the University of Applied Sciences in Leipzig in Germany say that mounting bifacial solar panels with one side facing east and the other facing west will produce more renewable electricity and reduce one of the side effects of traditional solar energy farms. An abundance of electricity at the midday and not enough in the morning or the afternoon. The study was published in the August 2022 edition of the journal Smart Energy. And it says that another advantage that flows from mounting solar panels vertically is it allows room between them for crops to grow without the need for tall mounting systems that allow farm machinery to operate underneath. Bifacial solar panels can use solar energy from both sides installed in an east-west orientation. Most electricity is generated in the mornings and evenings. This would reduce the need for electricity storage and at the same time keep the space required for electricity generation low, says Sophia Recker of the Leipzig University of Applied Sciences. The researchers based their research on a simulation of the German energy system using energy plan software. To me, this is like using big data to actually work out how to make something better. It's sort of like Moneyball, right? But applied to solar panels. With Germany facing significant containment of methane supplies because of Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine, the German government has enacted new policies this month to make the country less dependent on energy, says Clean Technica, imports and reduce carbon emissions. The policies call for the share of renewable energy to be increased in Germany from just under 50% where it is today to at least 80% by 2030. That goal is very similar to Australia. Australia is aiming for 82% by 2030. I believe Germany and Australia will reach 100% by that year, but we'll see. Let me know if you agree with me or you disagree in the comment section below. Biofacial solar modules are somewhat more expensive than conventional solar systems, but as they increase the number of hours of available solar power significantly, other electricity needs such as gas-fired power plants are reduced. Installed vertically, solar systems can easily be set up on agricultural land, and this creates additional earning opportunities for farmers and increases the area for potential for renewable energies. So much so in Germany that we would only have to import a very small amount of additional energy, meaning Germany would no longer become reliant on Russian gas for their energy needs says Jens Snyder, professor of networked energy systems and co-author of the study. Now, there are some additional benefits to these solar panels. A lot of farmers use them simply for their animals to sleep under or to stay under when it's raining or snowing or whatever it is. 
So that's quite often a common use on farms, using the solar panel as the actual roof and then not installing a roof. Solar panels installed on agricultural land can support the growth of certain crops as well by protecting those crops from wind and excessive sun. In particular, in really sunny climates where there's too much sun, they can be very useful. Flower strips for more biodiversity are possible directly under the modules as well. And so-called agri-photovoltaics are to be particularly promoted in the future as a result of the federal government's new legislative package. Now, Clean Technica says that for their study, researchers Sophia Recker, Jens Snyder, and Christoph Gerhards used the energy plan software to model an energy system for Germany, which would result in 80% fewer carbon emissions in 2030 compared to 1990, potentially saving the country billions of dollars. The researchers assume an increase from the current 64 to 195 gigawatts of wind energy capacity and from the current 58 to 400 gigawatts of solar energy capacity, meaning there'd be approximately twice as much solar capacity as wind by 2030. Now, as you can imagine, the problem here with this is the amount of battery storage that's needed. That level of renewable energy would normally require a huge amount of battery storage, but the research shows the need for storage decreases if the majority of the added solar capacity is installed vertically in an east to west orientation. In a scenario without additional electricity storage, this alone can save 10 megatons of CO2 per year. As you can see from this chart, typical solar power production with a conventional orientation, which you would think would make more sense, but actually doesn't, with an east to west orientation, a north-south orientation and a combination of orientations, you get the idea here and you can see why having both directions actually makes sense. The east-west orientation starts producing electricity many hours sooner and continues to produce power many hours later than a conventional solar farm. However, there is a big dip in output during the midday hours. The thing is though, those midday hours when there's a dip is usually when solar energy frequently exceeds demand and has to be either stored for later use or curtailed, in other words, wasted, which often means it goes to complete waste. Vertical orientation solar panels could reduce or eliminate the need for peaker plants that typically come online in the late afternoon and early evening when demand increases, but supply from solar farms goes down. The researchers said, it can be shown that vertical PV systems enable lower storage capacities or lower utilization of gas power plants. Without any storage options, a reduction of the overall carbon dioxide emissions by up to 10.2 million tons per year is actually possible. In countries with a huge number of citizens per area, the area available for PV power plants is a crucial issue. Often it is discussed whether an area should be dedicated to food production or electricity production. The theoretical potential though of energy produced from APV systems is very high due to the large availability of agricultural land, up to 1700 terawatt hours a year for Germany, which is more than triple the country's 2019 electricity demand of around 500 terawatt hours per year. In other words, there is more than enough space to have enough solar energy for all of Germany's electricity needs. This really does show you what happens when people question the way we do things. Just because we do something a certain way doesn't mean it's the most logical way to do it. And this is the way we need to look at everything. We need to approach the way we build EVs, the way we build batteries with this perspective to question what's already been done and ask whether or not it can be actually done better. That's what these researchers have proved. When you analyze something and don't accept the conventional wisdom, you can often get a significantly better outcome. There are lots of industries who are desperate for abundant, clean, affordable, cheap energy. Some of those include green hydrogen or simply reducing the carbon emissions associated with making steel. Clearly the key reason to why these solar panels being installed vertically is so much more efficient is simply because we can get so much more use out of the sun's hours during the day. And the other thing to keep in mind here is this may not have worked so well, say 10 or 20 years ago when solar panels were far less efficient, but because of how efficient they are today, we can still generate a lot of power from the sun, even when it's very low in the sky. 
In fact, we can generate power from the sun, even when it's cloudy. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, but I'm excited to see this new development. It could actually mean a lot less battery storage is needed than what was previously thought. Thank you for watching, my friends. Have a great day. Bye-bye.